Hey guys and welcome back to another Rambo review. Today we're going to be discussing Black Klansman, which is the latest film directed by Spike Lee. Now I was super super excited to see this. Spike Lee has made some excellent films in the past. He's a bit of a hit and miss director, but I'd heard amazing things about Black Klansman. Now this film is based off the true story of a black detective in the Colorado Springs Police Department called Ron Stallworth, who successfully manages to infiltrate the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. And he manages to do this with the help of one of his fellow police officers, who is basically his white physical counterpart. Now, Black Klansman is set in the 70s where racial tension and racism in the Ku Klux Klan is very much at an all time high in America. And it's truly a shocking film to watch, but a very, very important film in terms of how the story is told and how important the story is to be told. I'm so glad that with such an important story, you have a director like Spike Lee who has such a vision. He can actually make a full story out of it with visuals and with the actors he has. He really uses every aspect he has to his full potential. This is a two hour and 15 minute long film and that is a really long time to be sat in a cinema chair to keep your audience engaged, but Spike Lee does it without even thinking. And the two main actors in this film, the first one being John David Washington, who plays the actual Ron Stallworth, and then his white counterpart is played by Adam Driver, who's called Flip Zimmerman in this film. Those two actors work incredibly off each other, their chemistry is insane, and both of them just do such a fantastic job portraying their characters and portraying what the story means to them and how the Ku Klux Klan has affected both of their characters in different ways. Like Ron Storworth is obviously a black man and Flip Zinnemann is actually a Jewish man and both of which the Ku Klux Klan hate. So it is, it's a very interesting character study to see how the actions of the Ku Klux Klan affect them. It, and just the actors just did incredibly on this. This sounds like a very serious film, but Spike Lee does add some comedic moments into it, which were really clever and didn't segregate any certain audience type, if you know what I mean. I think the importance of this story and the importance of Spike Lee is that he believes that everybody should be equal and nobody should be treated like the black people were treated back in the day in the 70s by the Klan. I think his inclusion of just everybody in the story made it more accessible to every single audience. And that just kind of emphasizes how important it is for everyone to know about it. It's a serious film, it's a comedic film, but it's also a shocking film. The third act of this film had my jaw on the floor for a good 20 minutes. The tension he builds and the creative choices he uses really emphasize how horrific the events of this time were how crazy and just terrifying the clan were, like the imagery he uses is, it's just plain out scary, but it really kind of emphasizes how they were and how they are. And it really shows people just how terrifying this world is and how awful it was back then. This film is intense, it's poignant, it has funny moments, it has literally everything you need in a true life story to make it seem like it is real. It isn't just one focus point where it's all serious all the time. I didn't feel like I was watching actors at any point. I just felt like I was watching a pretty much documentary or a live capturing of the events happening. Because everyone just did such a great job of portraying their character and telling the story. It was just so focused that it just felt like real life. Most true life stories take the direction of being all serious all the time, but Black Klansmen really makes you feel for the characters and make you feel like they are real people because obviously they were and it just shows different sides of the characters that most true life stories don't show. Spike Lee is definitely back on his game with Black Klansmen. He has definitely tackled the true life story with such ease and his statement at the end of this film, I'm not sure if it's spoilers, with the clips from the events of Charlottesville terrified me. It literally terrified me, but his statement at the end of this film just makes the whole experience 10 times more effective. If you haven't seen Black Klansman, you definitely need to go see it to support this film, just because the story is so important to know about, and films like this just need more attention so more of them can be made. That was a very serious and intense random ramble, but I cannot express enough how great this film was and how I need you to go see it. If you were one of the many who has seen it and hopefully loved it, let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Me and Ellen will be back next week with another video, so subscribe to her channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to this channel, and all that jazz. Okay, bye!